Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video I will show you a project that I created to simulate the same functions like Linktree. If you don't hear about Linktree, it's an application or a web app that enables you to share your links maybe in social media like your page link on Instagram, Facebook and so on and so on by adding here on this admin panel the title like this that like i added here my official instagram page for example and the value here which is your instagram account and now you, it's ready to be shareable and you can share it here by sharing it, the link of your as you can see here link three slash your user name and if i copied it here as you can see i if you noticed i added two links my called one called my official instagram page Facebook page and if I open it here right and if I click on, on it it will move me to another page or the URL that I added uh, here if you noticed here is this URL let's add another one here I will say me for example Google right and the URL is HTTP for example uh, google.com right now it's added here and is a button name as you can see is Google and the value or the link is google.com if I click here it works again if I show it as a shareable URL for my friends and my fans and so on as you can see here if I click here also it will work correctly now I made the same idea with Laravel and Albine and Flowbyte or Tailwind CSS and I will explain you the project then you can clone it from the uh, link in the description of my github account so first of all here I created a new Laravel application uh, Laravel 10 right and I installed a uh, flow byte in my front-end stack is which is a front-end uh, framework built on Tailwind it's actually not a framework it's something components right built with uh, tailwind so if i show it here right go to documents as you can see everything is here tailwind and here's the uh, integration guide integrated with whole or most of frameworks view next safe also with laravel and i follow this guide here and here is for example some example ready Tailwind CSS codes as you can see here instead of building it from scratch it's ready and you can take it and do working on it and modifying it as you want so the first thing here in my code I installed Laravel Breeze as a starter kit if you noticed here right and if I go to now to our application I called it linker I will uh, log out and if I try to register I will say Ahmed and uh, my mail test at mail.com and our password here and the password again now it works save as you can see here it's auto generated a link you can share it so if i copy it here you can see this message copy it to clipboard and if i open it so here is a username and the username of the url here and no link is yet right so you can modify first of all your username from here i added this uh, in the profile and here's also in our uh, profile update profile component which comes with a lot of breeze as you can see here username I add it here easily here name username and here also the username if you want to customize it so it's unique by the way I will show you the uh, a database here our users table as you can see username is unique and here's also our uh, database for users table three users and now I will try to change it for Ahmed for example and let's see the result so here Ahmed sent and the username has already token so I will set it to test save and now it's modified to test this back to our dashboard and I will share the link again now send it and it works correctly let's add some links and i will show you how i implemented it so first of all as you can see here i will add the title of the button so if i add it here a uh, facebook or fb right i will say http for example fb.com right now save and it saved successfully 
now let's share our link again and send it and as you can see here if p is a button and if i click on it it will redirect me or open a new tab here to my link that i added so now let's try to change this fp here back again i will say facebook save back again here refresh our page as you can see the button changed and the url like it right let's try for example to change the url also maybe a google and save it save successfully and now refresh click and now it will redirect me to wiggle so i will show you here in my uh, controllers by the way i will show you my link model i have a, a simple model called link right and it has a relationship with user here user id and here is a schema of links table as you can see very simple user id right and url and the title and the data here must be unique beer row so if i try here again i will show it here to duplicate these values save right and you click save now i face this error if i refresh it prevents you from duplicating values so i will try to edit here again save it will save only one value this is a bug we can work to solve it together in another video and back again here refresh we still have only one link right and here is the implementation on the back end side i have a link controller right and here is a view here uh, in my dashboard first of all i am using alpine right and i am initializing here my links it's array of my links and saved for another purpose i will tell you and here i am adding the initial value for my links array for this array and if you notice here for my controller for this controller i am sending user with its links and i am checking if user has links or the link is is equal to zero user has no links then init it with title and url but if the user has links then set the links value to this user users links so i will show you quickly here so if i back here and i would say here insta and e even we can see linker here and i will uh, save it here now if i refresh the page now the user has some links but if i has no urls here now refresh it will create automatically title and url for this array into this array as you can see here in case of i have no links and now i had this method called add field to add more fields so for example if i click on plus it will work here and now if i click on save all are required here in my code in my form here for each link and in link is array i am adding input with x model of the index of this title and also of the url and if i click on minus button it will delete field as you can see here it, the delete field method will work by removing uh, this field this method here by passing the index of the url or the generated url then it will destroy it but if you notice here if i have no id attribute for this for this specific link it will remove it from array because it's not uh, stored in my database but if it exists it, if it has id right it will send a delete request to delete this uh, link from my database so if i back again here and i click refresh i will say fb for example let's add any link here save right refresh and now i will show you how it's work so here this is an auto generated one here that i generated it's empty and now if i click on it it will not send any requests but if i delete it because it has a value from my database it has id also here it will send a request to delete its value right for id number 
a 58 as you can see here with delete method and now I will show you how this works when I copy and paste it here here in my uh, controllers or in my roots web roots I have created this get I am using binding parameter and by default it will be username not ID right and here my user links controller I am returning the selected user right this user's name I'm reading also his uh, links as you can see here load user with links from the relationship so here in my user model I have a relationship here for user called links has many and order by ID for uh, ordering them from latest to newest latest to oldest right and also here I have a URL attribute so if I back here to my dashboard again and I will say here a uh, user URL as you can see here I'm displaying the URL here by creating this accessor called a uh, URL so here in my user model I have this attribute called get at URL uh, attribute the my uh, application URL here in my dot inf right here and slash this user name which is we set in our database this one here right and also while creating user for first time registering a new user I'm generating a random user name here using this action generate a user name and if I, I check if it already exists in the database generate another one to prevent the duplication right and here's our web routes again here's our routes delete post and also for dating profile actually I'm not using uh, this data and yeah here is the basic idea of cloning a uh, link so now let's add some uh, URLs to my uh, account or profile I will see here uh, Google right HTTP here google.com and I will add them in bulk for example Facebook I will say here facebook.com and also my account on linker I will copy this link here and now let's create them in bulk works correctly let's refresh our page the same result and if I copy it here visit my account for non-authenticated user they can see it here my username my name also you can build on this idea maybe adding a style for the profile adding backgrounds and so on last thing i will show you here how i store uh, links here in my link controller i am checking because it stores them back here is our links and each link must must contain a url and a title and because of i am sending it as a json string file from my uh, application here when i click save i am sending it as a form data by uh, using json stringify uh, these links that i created here i am uh, decoding the uh, data or the links key here and also i am setting the user id of current authenticated user id so if i click here uh, die and done dd this all and i will show you here click save in our network here is the data links each link as you can see here and it adds the user id of current authenticated user id here right so i will uh, remove it here back to our controller link controller storing and i am looping around uh, them so I'm checking if it has ID or not if you notice here we have IDs right but if I try I will create the undump again here to create a new URL right here I will say a test to be here test.com and I will click save right now if you notice each a link has 
uh, ID because it's already exist but the last one test here doesn't have ID so it will be created I am using here update or create method so if it has ID it's okay update or create using this ID if it's not then create this link data right so I will remove die and dump here then I will uh, resend this request again now it's added refresh now it works correctly if I visit my uh, page here Google Facebook link and a test if I click here it works correctly to test.com it's a random URL so it may not work and yeah here's the simple idea of how we can create the basic functionality of uh, maybe cloning the basic functionality of a uh, link tree admin panel and sharing this URL uh, everywhere you want to and then you can build on it we'll share this uh, repository link in the description if you found any uh, difficulty or complexity you can leave a comment or if you didn't understand a part of the code you can uh, mention it in the comment if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos